Daniel Berkvist, number 24. Matthew Ustazen, number 9. Ethan Hardy, number 27. Amir Fetabegovic, Fetebe number 16. Brandon Prince, number 26. Massimo Basolu, number 12. And then for the Perth Pumas, we have Amar Jahel, number 7. Ra uh, Raiden Tran, number 1. Rama Elliott, number 25. Leon Gubbings, number 9. Bennett Vesey, number 32. Mackenzie Miyakota, number 14. Matt Stevenson, number 44. And there we have it, an early goal for Am Amar Jahel. Beautiful finish path past Ethan Hardy. We saw him bring it inside, take on the defender, and slots it into the top right-hand corner. Beautiful, beautiful goal there by Amar Jahel to start off the first game of the evening. And to finish off the team list from Perth Pumas, Matt Stevenson, number 44, and Jordan Tiong, number 8. Raiden Tran collects at the back. Plays wide to... the. F oh, a bit of commu miscommunication there between Rama Elliott and Scarborough Sharks have regained possession. Plays back to Rousen. Into Ustazen. Takes the ball wide, but this miss touch there, and it'll be regained to Perth Pumas. Down to Elliott. Plays back to Mia Cotter, to Jahel. Bit of a heavy touch there, but Jahel does well to recover. Takes it forward. Well intercepted there by Rousen. Near Cotter. Plays to Dara. And it goes out for a goal kick. Hardy to Ustazen. Out to Rousen. Fedebetikovic comes in short. Plays back. Back wide to Rousen. Beautiful chip ball there by Amir Fedebetikovic, but Ustazen just couldn't find control. However, goes out for a goal, uh, corner ball. Down to Prince. Oh, and that one, not far away at all. Caught out Tran and almost found the right-hand corner. Tran goes long, but well intercepted by Rousen. Rousen keeps going. Jahel does well to track back and high-intensity game at the moment. As Feta Begovic goes for a little bit of a little roll. Pumas regain possession at the back to Jahel. Does a good dummy run to Elliot. Back to Jahel. Takes on Fedebekovic and goes out for a Pumas kick. Down to Miyakota. Back to Jahel. Into Elliot. Looks for the 1 2, but well intercepted there by Prince. Jahel resets to Miyakota. Back to Jahel. Steps up, invites the press. Waits for Sharks to... Waits for Sharks to engage. However, Rama Elliott was just a bit sloppy there and kicks the ball out of play. Will be regained by Sharks. Back to Prince. Beautiful long ball there to Basolu. A little chip. Oh... Beautiful, beautiful through ball there by Prince to find to find Massimo Basolo and Raiden Tran was caught out but just could not find the back of the net in that instance. Pumas regain possession. And there's a beautiful, beautiful through ball down to Jahel, but Massimo does well to track back and now Sharks are on the attack. It's a bit end to end at the moment. Very exciting game as Sharks obviously want to push for that top four finish in the bottom half and Pumas want to try and finish in the top two of the bottom half and here we here we go and Masters, uh, Massimo Basolu, sorry if I butcher any of the names but just saved by Raiden Tran and Perth Pumas reset with Jahel out wide plays to Olonigan. Olonigan takes his time to Elliot back to Jahel To Mia Cotter, to Jahel. Taking the time, not rushing play. As I said that, 
they did. And it was intercepted by Rousen and who stays and goes forward. However, Mia Cotter does well to track back and make sure Sharks don't have an opportunity. Side ball there, Rousen over the bar. Red and Tran will reset as we see Leon Gummings coming on. We also see Vesley come on. And Stephenson also check in. Only one staying on is Olonigan. Here we have some beautiful, beautiful play. Olonigan, beautiful, beautiful goal there by the Perth Pumas. One, two touch around the back. Look for the through balls and just like that. Olonigan slots it past Ethan Hardy and that takes Perth Pumas up to an early 2-0 lead. Only six minutes gone in this first half. Sharks haven't been terrible, maybe just unlucky and caught out in a few instances. Both teams not pressing, sitting halfway. Pasolu looks for that inside ball. Finds the target and back to Rousen. Well defended there. Rousen on the ball. Basolu. Inside ball to Rousen. However, it was cut out well there by Gummings. Rousen chip ball. Alonigan brings it inside. Plays to Vesley. Back to Stephenson and back to Vesley. Beautiful play there. One, two around the defender and he's slotted it into the top left-hand corner. He's beaten Ethan Hardy there in that instance. Beautiful play there by Vesley and Gubbings. Beautiful one, two and Vesley just took the ball down the line and Perth Pumas are well on top here. Three nil, three nil advantage. Sharks regain possession. Prince at the back. Tries to find number 24, Daniel Berkvist, but unfortunate in that instance, as referee Jonathan Sartless calls a corner kick there. <laughs> Berkvist finds Prince. We know he's got a beautiful left foot, but he's been caught out here, and Pumas are on the break. However, Massimo. Raiden does well. He did connect with the ball there. It's end to end at the moment. Massimo Basolu thinks he's been fouled. He's he's still down. Sharks regain possession here. Prince, who stays in, back to Prince. To stays in. To Prince. To Basolu. Beautiful, beautiful footwork there on the toe poke. Narrowly, narrowly missing the goal and just over the top of the bar. We can, we just saw there what Basilou can do. He's got beautiful footwork and if you're ever one-on-one -on -one with him, you know you're, you're in danger. Pumas did well there to... Pumas did do well there to... Um, put, put the shot off target. That's, we've seen the regain possession here with Jahel. Jahel down the line. Back to Jahel and takes his time. Waits for the Sharks defenders to engage. And now here they go. Here go the Perth Pumas. They're good on the ball. Little comes inside. Hits it. Narrowly, narrowly, just wide there. Very, very good play by Gubbings. However, beautiful throw by Hardy. Bas Basilo was, was through by the beautiful throw by Hardy, but the Perth Puma boys. Got back well to defend. They're known for, Perth Pumas are known for that to get back in numbers and rarely let their opposition counter attack as they regain possession here. Got beautiful 3 1 as we see. Good rotation here. Vesley comes inside, waits for Gubbings. To Stephenson. Cut out though. 
bit sloppy in possession there and cut up by Basilo, who stays and has possession. Basolu outside of the foot. It found Berkvist, but again, the Puma boys, Puma boys got back and defended that attack by the Scarborough Sharks. Who stays in, not calling for the five metres, doesn't think the Puma boys are five metres behind the ball. Good game awareness there by Ustazen. Kicks into the kicks into Stephenson and wins himself a side ball as Sharks regain possession here. Asking for the five meters. Shot comes in from the side, but Tran always, always safe. Young keeper, but one of the best in the league. Here, Puma's invited the press, and now they're out. Gubbings, beautiful back roll. Now, that was a beautiful, beautiful counter-attack by, by Perth Pumas. They invited the press, and Gubbings with the beautiful back roll. However, they could not find the finish in that instance. Sharks regain possession here. Taking their time. Basolu, look for the pass. Intercepted by Gubbings. Solo to a Stazen. Out to his Ustazen. Berkvist the target at the moment. Big solid body. We know what he can do up there. We have some brilliant targets in this league and when he finds the ball at his feet he can turn and finish. Ustazen pressing high. Sharks committing. Pumas look to play out from the back there but fluff their lines and couldn't find their teammate plays down to try to connect with Berkfist there who stays in a bit unfortunate in that instance back to Fedebekovic as he checks back in Basolu from the sidekick back to Fedebekovic and Red and Tran regains possession. Olonigan with the run. Tran couldn't connect. Tran, uh, Hardy, as I should say, to Ustazen. Down to his brother. Goes out of play for a goal kick as Elliot checks back in. Olonigan. Gets played to Elliot. Amar Jahel with a beautiful inside run. Releases Alonigan down for a forward run. Rama Elliott try to take on Basolu, but now we have a counter attack here. Alonigan did very, very, very well to make sure Basolu didn't get past him. We know how talented Basolu is at taking on his defenders one on one. Basolu to Fedebekovic. The ball was dipping, it was dipping from the side kick and. Tran just tipped it over the edge of the bar. Basolu chips it down to Ustazen. Jahar with a brilliant press and now he's dispossessed. Ustazen and it just goes right at the bar. We know what Amar Jahel can do. Beautiful press and just goes right at the bar. As now we have a timeout here by the Scarborough Sharks and we'll be back with you just after this quick ad break.
and welcome back to Scarborough Sharks versus Perth Pumas. Pumas have taken an early 3-0 lead here in this game and we just heard from Amar Jahel and the team talk to keep things simple, work hard defensively and chances will come just like has in the first six minutes of this game as Rouson try to connect with Prince, unfortunate in that instance as Elliot regains possession, back to Jahel. Jahel to Olonigan. Back to Jahel. To Elliot. Beautiful rotation here. Jahel had made the forward run, but good block by Prince to make sure he didn't get to the end of that ball and create an opportunity. Hardy down to Fedebegovic. Rama Elliot with a clever dummy to put Fedebegovic off. And Pumas regain possession. We also heard Jahel say in the break, come inside. Complete the one-twos, look for the runners, work some four-zero movements, and it's worked very well, very, very well in the first 15 minutes of this match. They've gotten chances. Hardy hasn't really been at fault, but Pumas have just been excellent so far. Worked hard defensively. Sharks will have to start more creating as we saw a shot there by Rousen and I think it was deflected off Elliot and almost caught out Raiden Tran. Corner ball here for Scarborough Sharks, see if they can create something. Out to Prince, back to Ustazen. Try to connect with Rousen on the right flank, but just fluffed his lines a bit, of the, little bit there. Alonigan to Elliot, to Stephenson. Back to Elliot. Plays Mia Cotter. Back to Elliot. Comes inside. Someone has to make a run. Elliot with a nice chip ball, but just couldn't connect with Olonigan as Rousen works very well defensively. K keeps going, but Elliot's regained possession. Fedebegovic with a beautiful block there, and it releases Rousen on the counter, but. As we've seen all games so far, Pumas, they work hard back and they don't let Sharks with any space. Fedebegovic, this is a chance. Try to look for the reverse pass and Ustazen could not find the ball there. As Pumas retain possession here. To Stephenson. Olonigan. Taking their time here. Elliot to Alonigan. Intercepted there by Sharks, but Pumas regain possession. Beautiful ball down the line. Try to chip it to Stephenson, but just couldn't connect. And Sharks regain possession with Rousen. Pumas not pressing. They look for the long ball. Who stays in? Who stays in? Connecting with Rousen there. And Raiden Tran did very, very well to make sure that the ball did not go on the back of the net. Sharks have won themselves a corner. Down to Rousen. Chip ball down to Stazen. Look for the quick turn and finish, but just could not connect with the flight of the ball. Tran. To Stephenson, to Gubbings, to Stephenson. Didn't need to force the ball there, he had time. Sharks weren't pressing with numbers and Sharks do regain possession. As we can see, Fedor Benigovic is getting frustrated, saying the ball movement isn't fast enough, and I do agree. They're giving Pumas time to get back in numbers and they're not really posing any of a threat at the moment. However, it's only 3-0. We've seen crazy things happen in futsal and there's still another 20 minutes to go of the second half. Pumas on the ball here. Beautiful run there by Stephenson. Takes on Fedebegovic, goes for the shot. Fedebegovic got back, put his body between him and the man and the ball and did very, very well to make sure the shot goes astray as Hardy releases Rousen. 
Referee Lauren Baker says it's a Sharks ball. Prince taking his time. As we said, Sharks probably need better ball movement to pose a threat to Pumas. Pasolu back on. Rousen trying to look for the little, little back heel to Prince, but Prince hadn't made the run. Bit unfortunate there, but that was better. That was better from Sharks. Gubbings brings it up. Looks for the angled ball inside. Could not connect. Stephenson. They find Gubbings and brilliant press there by Prince, but Leon Gubbings comes out very well. Good ball work, but Basolu, he's going. Oh, and he looked for the he looked for the diagonal ball to Berkvist, but excellent, excellent defensive work right there by Mia Cotta to make sure the the ball did not get to the back post. Traditional corner set piece there, and Prince just couldn't find the top left hand corner, but creating chances now the Sharks. Puma's in possession. Gubbings, beautiful connection there with with uh, Stephenson, but they just could not with a heavy touch. Rousen, 18 seconds here to go with, you'd have to think they'd have to try and get one more shot on target, target try and get one more goal before the half is, the half is seen out. Rousen found the feet of Bergfist, but Bergfist just couldn't get his first touch, and that will see us for the first half of of this game. Pumas have been on top. Sharks will have to regather at half time and hopefully try and get back into this game. We'll be back just after this break. Back to the first match of the evening. Just before we start the second half, I want you to know the schedule for tonight's games. Next up, we've got WA Eagles versus Longobarda. Then we have the top eight clashes, West Coast Cobras versus Andinos, South Perth versus the Wolves, and then Cumbrae versus the Northern Hawks. All of our next four games are going to be bangers, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you stick around and... Enjoy, enjoy the action. As Sharks are back in possession here. Basolu dispossessed by Vessi and beautiful shot there at Hardy, but Hardy did very well to make sure the ball did not go on the net. 
Prince uses his body well. Regains possession. Pumas happy to let Sharks happy to let Sharks come up. Now Jahel initiates the press and it works straight away. But Matthew Stazen does well to win it back, but fluffed his lines a little bit there and regains possession to Raiden Tran. Rousen and Ustazen doing very well there to double team Gubbings and a uh, bit unfortunate there by Rousen couldn't figure his feet out and here we have a 3v2. Prince does want to cut the angle but what a finish. What a finish by Gubbings. He took him down the line, played it inside. Gubbings with a little flick right in between Ethan Hardy. Very, very unfortunate there by Hardy but there was just that little gap and Gubbings found it. It gives the Pumas a 4 0 lead, and you'd have to say Sharps would have to get things going to get a result in this match. Basolu to Rousen. Try to find Prince, but Gubbings has been exceptional at the start of this first half. Goal and a beautiful interception there, but Prince regains possession. Amar, Elliott to Gubbings. Back to Jahel. To Vessi, to Elliot. He makes a beautiful forward run. And that is what Pumas can do. They invite the press. Gubbings. Gubbings to Vessi. And Vessi slots it down the right. Bottom right hand corner. And Pumas take a 5 0 lead. As Fedebegovic checks back on for Ustazen. Stays into Basilou to Ustazen, down to Prince. This is better from Sharks. Good ball movement. Back to Ustazen. Goes to the toe poke. But Raiden Tran with a good save there. Bessie. Lauren Baker did blow a whistle there, and it will be a Sharks sidekick, despite some confusion. Ustazen to Basolu. Just couldn't find that bottom right-hand corner. Tran to Jahel. Elliot makes a beautiful diagonal run, and he's out here. Can he find the finish? But Hardy says no. Beautiful stop there. Beautiful diagonal run by Rama Elliot as well. Ah, unfortunate there. He had time. Mia Cotter but just couldn't, couldn't find the shot. Basolu takes his time. He stays in. Basolu, who stays in. Prince to Basolu. To Fedebegovic. Ustazen, this is good 3-1. Back to Prince, to Ustazen. Ustazen just couldn't find Prince that made that forward run. And Pumas regained the possession with Olonigan, but Basolo is intercepted. Again, Prince just couldn't connect with Usta uh, sorry, with Basolo, but that was, that was good from the Sharks. Good ball movement, and then they reacted when they lost it and had a chance. Elliot, beautiful, beautiful footwork there. And now he's kept it in play. It's one-on-one -on -one with Hardy, but he squares it. And Olonigan, who stays in, gets his body between him and the goal. And Olonigan just could not find the finish in that instance. Jahel to Elliot. Hardy again, putting himself between him, him and the goal. And it'll go out for a corner. Elliot from the side. Down to Stephenson. To Lonigan. Prince does well. Uses physicality, but Lonigan does well to reset to Elliot. Elliot. Stephenson. Masolu does well to get between the ball. Sorry, that was Mia Cotter. Lonigan to Elliot. 
into Stephenson. Back to Elliott. That was beautiful play. Ethan. Ethan Hardy, however, with a beautiful save. And he releases Ustazen. But Lonekin does well to track back. But Ustazen doesn't give up. Sharks are getting a bit frustrated with themselves. They can't seem to find each other. But the last couple of minutes have been better. Prince does well. Free sets to Hardy. Hardy to Basalu. As we know, this is what he's good at. Goes for the down the line. Flanker isolation, but Pumas do well to get back and defend. Basalu to Fedebegovic. Back to Basalu. To Prince. We know how good he... It's about to say, we know how good he is on that left boot and just missed the top left bins by a bit as Brandon who stays and does well to make sure the ball doesn't get to the target Tran to Stephenson to Elliot down to Lonigan back to Elliot beautiful one two beautiful back roll back to Mia Cotter to Stephenson Brandon does well there, good pressure, good physicality, he hits it, but Raiden Tran with a good save, covered his near post very well there, but that was good by Ustazen, beautiful press. We hear press from the bench of the Scarborough Sharks, you know if they're going to get back into this game, they're going to have to score, there's still 13 minutes left, I've seen crazier things happen, Prince to Fedor Begovic, goes for the shot, but Elliot clear as well. As we see Prince check out for Berkvist. To a Stazen. To Berkvist. To Basalu. Uses his chest well. Good play there by the Sharks. From Berkvist, the player that just came on. Tran down to down to Elliot, but just a bit too much on that one. And we'll restart play here with Hardy. Goes long to Berkvist, but I think it hit the roof there in that instance and Pumas will regain possession. Down to Jahel. Beautiful diagonal run. Rousen does well to get back. Hardy won the ball there and it will be a goal kick. It will be a goal kick. Who stays in to Rousen. Jahel intercepts, but Rousen does well to win the ball back. But good battle there by the two. Um, down to Rousen. Down to Stazen. Back to Rousen. To Basalu. Beautiful, beautiful nutmeg on. Beautiful, beautiful nutmeg on Stephenson, but... Unfortunately, Berkvist just couldn't find the touch. As we see the through ball down to Jahel. We know how good he is on that left boot, but just fluffed his lines a little bit there and couldn't find the finish. As Hardy resets with Rousen. To Berkvist. Basolu. Tells Rousen to step up. Down to Stazen. Elliot with good pressure, being physical. Chips it down to Ustazen. Does well to hold it up. Resets with Rousen. To Pasolu. Finds Ustazen. Looks for the one-two, but a bit of miscommunication there. and They couldn't connect with each other. As we see Mia Cotter restart play here. Down to Stephenson. Finds the target play, but good physicality on the ball by Rousen. Gave him no time and space there. Vessi unfortunate. Here we see Sharks with a good press. Basolu, maybe a foul there, but nothing called. Tran down to Vessi. Stephenson, beautiful one-two with Vessi. And will he finish? 
just drags it left. Beautiful one, two there between Stephenson and Vessi, but Ethan Hardy did well to cover the majority of the goal, and Vessi just couldn't find the finish. As we see, a beautiful flick ball by Basolu. Bit of miscommunication, Vessi's through. Will he finish? Another beautiful save by Hardy as he comes out again and wins the ball. And he also wins himself a ball. A side kick for the Scarborough Sharks. Hardy has been electric this second half. Definitely improved. Unfortunate there by, by Prince. The ball just straight off the line. And Pumas will regain possession here. Jahel waiting for the five metres to be called out. Gubbings to Jahel. He's going to take a shot. Beautiful, beautiful shot, but Hardy, he's warmed up into this game and he stopped Pumas from scoring after they scored two in quick succession at the start of the second half. Pumas reset play. Jahel, look for the back roll, but Dan Berkvis was unfortunate to get in possession. Again, Gubbing, uh, Gubbings just had a shot, but just went wide. Who stays in? Gubbings to Jahel. Beautiful ball down to Jahel. It's a one-on-one -on -one here with Basolu. Basolu does well, though. Comes out on top. That's better intensity from the Scarborough Sharks as Pumas reset play with Jahel here. Seven and a half minutes to go. No foul there. Basolu, we know what he can do. Beautiful down the line. But Raiden Tran cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped in this game. But And now he sets the light. Perth Pumas is... Gubbings has a shot and just goes wide. As we see a timeout here called by... Scarborough Sharks, we'll see what they cook up and we'll be back with you just after this break. Welcome back, and just as we heard in that timeout, Scarborough Sharks are electing to go with the fifth man. It is a smart call, 5-0 down with seven and a half minutes to go. There is time here if they can execute it right. Pumas retreat to halfway and let Sharks step up. Prince, Toistazen, Jahel from the top, coordinating his Pumas defense. Prince, Toistazen, back to Prince. Down to Basolu. And the ball just went out of play. Just went out of play, but Raiden Tran still had made the save. Gubbings. To Lonigan. To Vessi. Vessi takes Ustazen down the line, but doesn't go for the ball. And Sharks regain possession with Hardy. We'll see if he can get out quickly for fifth man, but the press came by Vessi and Tran collects. 
Alonigan to Vessi. Beautiful one, two. Hardy comes out beautifully. And it did come off the Pumas player. It will be a Sharks ball. Let's see if they can set up fifth man now. Ustazen. Prince back to Ustazen. They want to set up in the 3-2 the formation, but they do find the target. But Amar defends Burke this very well, but it is going to reset here with Scarborough Sharks as Fedebegovic tracks back. Ustazen. Pumas aren't electing to press. Just sitting halfway. They are leading 5-0. Basolu down to Burke this, but couldn't find the first touch there. Jahel down to Gummings, to Olonigan, to Elliot, to Jahel, to Elliot. Good press there by the Scarborough Sharks. They do want to get back into this game. Looks like the ball has gone under the stand. And we'll reset here with Elliot. Down to Gubbings. Gubbings has been a, a threat this whole game. Got one goal, one assist so far. We'll see what he can cook up for the rest of this game. Down to Jahel. Beautiful diagonal ball to Elliot. Back to Jahel. Good dummy. Down to Gubbingson. Beautiful press here by Basolu. He does one, he does two. But as we've seen all game, Pumas get back in numbers to defend, and that was excellent. Jahel overcommits a little bit. Anu Stazen. Beautiful pass there to Basolu as now they can set up their fifth man. Ustazen to Fedebegovic. Back to Ustazen. They need to start trying to find some shots, start testing Tran. He's been electric and Feder Begovic did get onto the end of that shot. But Jahel did excellently to track back and make sure it went out for a corner ball. Corner down to Basolo. Takes a hit. Tess Raiden, but no stress. And Raiden goes to the long range effort. Ustazen does well to take that out for a corner. Maybe a bit unfortunate. Maybe he was going out of play. As Perth Pumas now have a corner kick. Three and a half minutes. 5-0. This will be a big win for the Perth Pumas if they can get it done. Keeps them in touch with the top teams of the bottom half. As Pumas now on the break. Ustazen does well to calm it down. And beautiful ball down to Prince, but Olonigan's there. Elliot, good hold up play, but good footwork by Basolu. Elliot has advantage, but panicked a little bit. Basolu thinks he was foul, fouled. Ethan Hardy down to the target, plays Prince. If he can find a shot, which he can't. We've seen this all game by Perth Pumas. They defend exceptionally well, which is. Why Raiden Tran has kept his clean sheet. Elliot try to find that diagonal ball, but unfortunate in this instance. Who stays in? Takes on two, does well. But couldn't connect with Perk Biss and Perth Pumas will reset. Stephenson to Lonigan. To Elliot. Down to Alonigan. Connected with Elliot, but the ball was just out of play there. The Sharks now set up their fifth man. Hopefully, maybe pull a couple back. Stephenson did really well to block that diagonal ball. Maybe a foul there, and it is called by Basolu. Coach Thomas Lynch is angry with that challenge and maybe should be a yellow card. I have been physical with Basolu, haven't given him any space. 
We know how good he is one on one and they've been double teaming and he hasn't really been a threat this game. Plays Fedebekovic, turn shoots, but no real threat. And Tran again looks to get the goal, but who stays and collects at the back very well. To Elliot, he goes to the chip. Unfortunate in that instance. Ustazen driving. Maybe they can get a constellation goal at this. Constellation, not constellation. That's my bad. Basalu to Prince. To Ustazen. That was good futsal. Worked that fifth man beautifully, but just wide of the post. They haven't they have been unlucky in some instances. Haven't taken their chances just as well as Pumas, but it doesn't discount how good Pumas have been offensively and defensively. Uh, Elliot. Down to Mia Cotter. And Stephenson has a hit, but just over the bar. Basolu's getting frustrated with his teammates as Prince goes for the long ball down the line, but Tran's always collecting that one. Mia Cotter. To Stephenson. It's now Sharp step up. Try and work the fifth man now with Hardy. Who stays in. To his brother. And back. Elliot cutting the angle. Did well. Chips it over. Left foot shot there, and it goes out for a corner kick. Reminder to stay tuned for the rest of the night. We have some absolute banging contests. Next game is WA Eagles versus Longabada. Then we have West Coast Cobras versus Andinos, which is a massive, massive contest in the fight for top four. And then we have South Perth versus... Wolves versus South Perth, sorry, just had to go into the memory bank. And then to conclude the night, we have a first versus fourth beautiful matchup between Rockingham, Cumbio, Cumbre and the Northern Hawks, which is going to be an absolute thriller. So make sure you stay tuned. This has been a good game, but Pumas have come out on top and it sees them get a 5-0 win. Even effort with most players contributing and Goal scoring and thanks for joining us and we'll see you on the next one. Please stay tuned for the chat, uh, the stats. Thanks.